the other. Right, right, right. right. Uh, uh, let me make sure that I share this with the, with the people in the right way, because I want to make it clear that people understand. Uh, well, he, 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 to his best ability, he's to preserve, okay. protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Mm -hmm. His oath is in the Constitution of the United States. The uh, oath that the representatives and senators take is not specified in the Constitution, but it is promulgated such that they are there to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. But their duties are there. The duties of the uh, House of Representatives is to look at all the revenue issues mm -hmm. that come forth. Mm -hmm. And that's what really brought a lot of issues with regard to the debt sort of crisis. Okay. If you look back and, and, and look at uh, uh, past presidents and other folks in the past, you would find that Congress has lived up to their, their duties to, to provide for uh, uh, the debt of the United States. They're the ones who can pass bills to pay the debts of the United States or to uh, they deal with the revenue bill. But when we saw what was happening this spring with regard to the debt limitation, it wasn't necessarily that these folks were there doing their duties, but they were willing to uh, to go against the duties that they have in, in, in the Constitution. Well, why was this allowed? Well, why did this allow? How did it come in? Well, it, it, <laughs> it was widely known that, in fact, this was an issue, it was not an issue in pre past presidential situations. Well, well, but why was this allowed? Well, it, it, see, when you find that, when you look at all the things that the Constitution provides for, it provides for press as well, and a lot of other things. And when you find that the press is not doing the job of really reporting to the people what's really going on, then you begin to run into other kinds of issues. When you find that, uh, that people feel that they have to pay allegiance to somebody else in order to be able to maintain the job they have and whatnot, then you begin to see uh, this breakdown. And the thing that we saw that was a breakdown was that uh, we saw that people were not willing to uh, uphold their oath of office. And we felt that the U.S. Attorney General should look at that and examine that and share with not the President as well as Congress that they're not living up to their oath of office. Their duty is to, is to pay the debt. And oftentimes, the debt that was that, that being paid or discussed now wasn't caused by this President, uh, by uh, President Obama. Some of this has started in past administration. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly when you find that wars are created and then that, the, and those wars are not on the bu in the budget, it makes a big issue. So when you see that, that, that people are looking for ways in which to uh, not share the truth, when you begin to look at the truth about what has transpired, then it, it makes it easy for people to ignore that. And when we looked around the uh, landscape of the United States uh, back in uh, July and early this, this spring, when all this was going on, no one was willing to say, are these guys living up to their oath of office? Now, no one was willing to say that in, 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 among the so-called uh, uh, pundits and all the others were not willing. But you hear a lot more today about it. And I think a lot of it was because some of the stuff that we have written to the president, uh, to, to the uh, uh, attorney general. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to respond to us directly for us to know that something is going on, but sometimes people need to know that somebody else is looking too. Mm -hmm. And when we saw that uh, 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 <coughs> a, a number of people were willing to ignore their own oath of office, not to pass revenue bills, uh, not to pass the budget, that. That pays the, the lives of president to pay the debt of, uh, of what's going on, but we find that everybody want to blame the pres president Obama on everything. <coughs> and if you really look at the Constitution, it's very little that he can do. Well, tell me this, Cal, and when I, when I, I, I hear exactly what you what you're saying and why you're going this way, but here's um, when you think about the minority leader uh, in in the Senate, if yes. you will, the United States, Rich McConnell. Yes had pretty well made a statement about the fact that his, his goal, his focus, will be on making sure that President Obama didn't get reelected one way or the other. I mean, that, that statement was made. Okay? Yes. So that set the president. 
And then from that point on, it looked like no one else, I mean, everybody sort of followed the lead. Well, well, see. Was that it, issue brought up at that point in time? Well, I don't think it was brought up on that because should it, it, should? it should have been brought up. Okay. It should have been brought about up when all, about the Constitution, it should have been brought up on all those circumstances. But if you have people who, who don't see uh, uh, the value of a person of color in these positions, then you find people will, will ignore that. And that's what I saw in the press. See, you have a lot of people who thought that when President Obama was elected, we have a, we're in a post-racial period in the United States. And everybody knew that that was a lie. We weren't. The race issue has not been solved. Now, I don't expect him to come up and tell everybody that, but I think the rest of us ought to be willing to share that. Well, you would consider that it's part of the solution, having the fact that the African American was elected president. Yeah, it, it is. We, at least we're talking to the issue. Yeah, no, no question about it, okay. we ought to be talking to the issue. Right. See, I remember when I was in Forest Club work in Texas when I was growing up, and I looked at the landscape about the United States. I often felt that the only way many problems would be solved in this pro in this country in this country would be by a black person. That was my okay. my view. Okay. Okay. And I, I grew up l understanding that I needed to make sure that I learned as much as I could, as far as I could, and deal with a lot of things. And I knew that people were going to put roadblocks in my way. See, and, and I also looked at how how uh, people were dealing with. Uh, uh, football and basketball and with blacks moving into those areas as I was growing up. And I saw where all of a sudden when they put a black person in the football game or a basketball game, they figured he was going to immediately change the dynamic of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Now when President Obama was elected, all these folks thought that everything was going to happen overnight. He can't do that all by himself and he told everybody he couldn't do it all by himself. But a lot of folks want to think that he could and he should have. He should have done all, as if, if compromise was the worst thing in the world. We got people in it. Now, not only that, <coughs> see, uh, and, and then, then you began to find out a whole group of, of Republicans, uh, and I'm, I'm going back to look at their party structure a little bit, to figure they have to force the president to do certain kind of thing, or do it that way or no way. And without recognizing, they have a duty too. Now everybody thinks it's the president's job to create jobs in this in the in this country. The person who can help create jobs uh, is Congress. Is Congress doing that job? I dare say that we are willing to say that they're not. Well, that's both. That's both Republicans, uh, uh, when Democrats, I use, when I use Independents. Congress, well, well, see, I said to, I said to a lady once who, who who talked to me about this, and she and uh, I said, now uh, as I have reviewed. The, some of the history of all the presidents of the United States. I have not seen not one of them to do as much as President Obama has done in 18 months in their first two years of the experience. Uh, uh, nobody. If you go back and look at it, but people, well, I don't know what he's done. And, and when I sent one of them a, a couple of uh, documents that indicated all the things he had done, they were shocked to see that he had done all these things, or cause all these things to occur, even against some of the greatest odds. But why isn't why uh, is even, it media? Even so, huh? Why isn't media from us? Basically, well, you pretty well got the information. They had the same source, did they not? Well, they have the same. They have better sources. But why did why aren't they promoted? Well, well, because the mere fact, their attitude is not where my attitude is. They're not where this country ought to be. And say, uh, uh, as one guy often said, is that. If we look at what we're trying to do as a nation, we ought to be out there trying to make sure everybody sees these kinds of things. And, uh, but they're not willing to tell the people the, the truth. Would you agree that, uh, uh, you know, being, being good and saying good things uh, don't sell media? Conflicts sell media. Well, they but, divide. Well, but, the, but even, if, even, if they were ta uh, even if they were talking about the conflict, they're not telling. They're not telling people the truth about the country. But it sells ads. Well, to, you mean to lie? It sells ads. Uh, well, I, I'm not going to argue it doesn't sell ads, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it costs people to lose mm -hmm. uh, uh, lies. There have been a lot of lies. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like this president is, is not providing the leadership. That's a lot of lies. In what capacity? You In a capacity you look at it. I don't see when when you look at what was, what the status of this country w w was. 
when the President Obama became president, you find that he's, he's provided a heck of a lot of leadership. He recognized that, uh, I, you know, I, I was at a convention back in Dallas the other day, and uh, one guy jumped up and said he hadn't done anything. I asked him, say, do you know where the President Obama gave his first security speech? Guy, oh, no, no. Well, I said, do you know? Now, you one of, and I told him, you one of those guys to say, you believe in the Constitution. And I asked him, have you read it? He hadn't read it. Now, he didn't know where he spoke. I said, now, if you go back and look at that time, he spoke at the Library of Congress. When he, uh, behind those documents that you're talking about, and you have not read. Now, he, he came up and he said he wanted Congress to do its job, he wanted the uh, Supreme Court to do its job, and he wanted the administration to do its job. Now, what was that saying to you? you now, but you, out there, you, you and others want to take back the Constitution, or take back this thing. I, I said, my, my point to them is that, what do you mean? It seemed to me that you only want to take it back because you see a, a black person as president of the United States. You're not looking at what he has done or what he's trying to do. He's trying to give it back to you, and you don't see that. See, the, the other thing that the Oregon Assembly for Black Affairs wanted to make sure that uh, Attorney General Holder, as well as uh, the congressional members, is to know that out of this whole debate that we had on, on, on the debt limitation is that you had Caught, uh, using their, their very a number of Republicans in there who indicated that they would sign a, a, a pledge and they would live up to that pledge over their constitutional oath. When you find that many people, you have to say there's something else serious going on. And you got to have people in Congress as well as people in, uh, in the media began to tell the people the truth. The American people has not been told the truth by the media. But the media has employers. They have owners. I know they have owners. And, they, and, and, and perhaps the worst thing that we could have done over the last years uh, uh, is to get rid of some of those things that would require people to be honest and be truthful in the reporting. But in the definition of the, in a layman's term, it's called the golden rule. He who has the gold rule. Well, from a media perspective. Well, well, Fair? yeah. But well, what should what should happen with regard to our elected officials? Yeah, but you just made. Look, you, we're talking about the Constitution. And no, the no, but no, no. Right? But yeah, I but agree see, with you. I'm you see what I, what I'm saying here. Should they go outside and pledge to somebody who is not a member of the Const, uh, uh, not a legislator, and, and uh, an organization that they will live up to their pledge? much more than they will live up to their doing their duties. Now, is that considered a violation? In my view, it would be. But whether other people want to see it as a violation, that's something else to be in mind of. But I think the American people need to know that if we want a, a, a government to work, we have to have people elected to office who are willing to stand up and do the duties that we ask them to do. Not to get in there and destroy uh, the Constitution or destroy this nation. Well, now, one entity uh, of late that has mentioned the fact, uh, talked about the whole issue of the Constitution has been the issue of the Tea Party. They brought the issue of Constitution and, i.e., uh, they, they're not in any respect for either party. I'm more, 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 more identified with the Republican Party, but the fact of the matter is they're saying, we're not at the table either, and these folks are violating the Constitution. No, any, well, any, any comments on that? No, when you're elected to, uh, to become a member of Congress and a member of the, uh, uh, of the United States Senate, in my view, you are at the table. It's so what you're willing to do while you're at the table. Now, I, I don't speak in terms of uh, uh, being Tea Party, a Republican, a Democrat, or independent, when, uh, yeah, independent when we talk about members of Congress. Mm -hmm. I have to say that when you sit there as one of those individuals in that body, you're no longer representing just your party or the party. You got to represent the people. Well, look, on that same point about the people, what we're going to do, we're going to take a short break. I think it's a good time to do and we're going to come back and start exactly where we, where we, we stopped and we broke off at. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back with uh, the president of the Oregon Assembly of Black Affairs, i.e., focusing on the Constitution of the United States and the responsibilities to those individuals who are... Who are